Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will design few basic application circuit using the T0 TI simulation tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. The first circuit which we will design and simulate is the voltage dropper. This circuit will reduce the voltage from a power supply by 1.7 volts per diode. For this particular circuit, we require a power supply of 5 volts and uh, 3 diodes that is D1, D2 and D3 and we will be using 1N1183 diode and the ground connection. Now connect the voltage source with these 3 diodes which is displayed in this particular tutorial. The voltage source is VS1 and it is around 5 volts now Click on file and save this particular circuit as electronic circuit and click on save. Now in order to analyze or do the analysis for this particular circuit, we will select the DC analysis. Now for this particular uh, basic circuit, we need to calculate the node voltages. So we will place across the probe across diode D1, D2 and D3 and we can observe the voltage drop of 3.3 volt, 1.6 volt across the diode D1 and D2. So this is the uh, simulation of first basic circuit where we have determined the voltage drop across the diodes. Next, we will simulate the voltage regulator circuit. In this particular circuit, we apply a steady output voltage equal to the sum of the turn on of uh, diode D1 to D3. So we require a power supply voltage of VS2 of 5 volt and the resistor value of 100 ohm and the load resistor of 1 kilo ohm. Now, place the diodes D1, D2 and D3 as, as uh, designed in this particular schematic editor and place a ground. Now connect the negative terminal of the power supply to the ground and the end of the, the other end of the power supply to resistor R1 and from resistor R1 to the diode D1 and D2 and D3 and from the diode D3 to the ground. Now connect the resistor R2 to the resistor R1 and to the diode D1. Now place the ground near the resistor R2 and connect it to the ground.
click on meters and then select the voltage pin and place this particular pin across the resistor R2 of 1 kilo ohm and change the voltage pin label to V out for our convenience. Now click on analysis and select DC analysis and click on calculate node voltage. The voltage across V out is 1.7 volt and the voltage across diode D1 is 1.3 volt and D2 is around 566 millivolt. So this is the end of the second circuit that is voltage regulator. The next basic circuit which we will simulate <coughs> is the triangle to sine wave circuit. So for, for this particular circuit simulation, we need to select the source and click on voltage generator and place it on the schematic. Now for this particular circuit design, we require resistor and two diodes. So place the resistor R3 of 1 kilo ohm and two diodes of D1 and D2, uh, which is displayed in this particular simulation. On the schematic window, and uh, we need also a ground connection for this particular circuit. Now, Connect the negative terminal of the voltage generator to the ground and the positive terminal uh, of the voltage generator to the resistor R3. Now from the resistor R3 connect the wire to the diodes and the other end of the diodes to the ground. Now place the voltage pin across the diode T1 and rename this voltage pin as Vout2 since we have named it as Vout1 for the other circuit. Now change the value of a resistor R3 to 10 kilo ohm. The voltage generator signal is changed to triangle waveform and set the amplitude, amplitude as 1 volt and frequency as 1 kilohertz. Now for this particular circuit, we will uh, perform the transient analysis and uh, in the start display, define it as 0 seconds and uh, in the end display, define it as 4 milliseconds and then click on OK. We can see the transient analysis once we perform the circuit simulation where uh, the triangle waveform has been changed to the sine waveform. Next, we will simulate a audio limiter circuit. In this particular circuit, we will limit the noise. So for this particular circuit simulation, we require a voltage generator source, uh, which is placed on this particular uh, schematic editor. For this, we also require a capacitor, diodes, and a speaker. Uh, now, the capacitor, uh, which is placed in this particular schematic editor is of 1 microfarad uh, and uh, the diodes are D1 and D2 and also we select the speaker from the component list uh, which is present in the meters tab. Now The positive end of the voltage generator is connected to the capacitor 
and the negative end is connected to the ground. The diodes are connected to the speaker. We will also place a voltage pin across the speaker in order to measure the transient analysis of this particular circuit. Now, for this particular voltage pin, we will rename this as Vout2 or Vout3 uh, as required for this particular circuit simulation. We will change the value of capacitor to 50 nanofarad, the voltage generator where the signal is changed to the sine wave with the amp amplitude as 1 volt and frequency as 1 kilohertz. Now, let us analyze this particular circuit and perform the transient analysis where the start is 0 seconds and the end display as 4 seconds. Now once we simulate this particular circuit, we can observe that in the uh, waveform, uh, we also get the third circuit waveforms. So uh, we uh, delete that particular uh, simulation and uh, we only try to analyze the audio uh, limiter circuit waveform. Next, we will simulate the cascade voltage double or circuit. So for this particular circuit simulation, we require a voltage generator. For the circuit, we need the capacitor and the diodes. So we will place the capacitor C2 and uh, the diodes D1 and D2, uh, which is presented uh, in this particular schematic. We will change the uh, name of this diodes because we have placed uh, many other diodes in this particular uh, example. So we will name the diodes accordingly and we will place the second capacitor C3 and the ground. Now connect the negative end of the voltage generator to the ground and the positive end of the voltage generator to the capacitor C2. And uh, we also place uh, the two diodes. The other end of the diode is connected to the capacitor C3 and then uh, to the ground. Now we also need to place a voltage pin across the diode and the capacitor C3 and rename this voltage pin to Vout. Now change the value of capacitor to 1 microfarad and the voltage generator signal is made as the sine wave. Now the amplitude is 1 volt and the frequency is 1 kilohertz. Now uh, we will also perform the transient analysis for this particular circuit. Now when we observe the waveform uh, from this particular circuit simulation, we see that the voltage is two times of V in and large capacitors must be used in order to reduce the ripple. So this is the basic circuit simulation which has been performed using the uh, TI simulation tool. Uh, for more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below.